global webcasting for a worldwide audience. Good morning, you are listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters, and this is Thursday Live, hopefully with no technical issues today. The last two weeks have been a bit of a debacle. Never mind. Thursday Live is staying with uh, I Love the 80s. We start you with a classic from our heart. Probably the signature song that was Aha would take on me. Uh, originally released in 1984, it was a bit of a flop until it was re released in 1985 and uh, appeared on their debut studio album Hunting High and Low in 1985. Now, today's weather is a bit of a disappointment since yesterday was beautiful, uh, but it does bring to mind something I'm sure you've all seen on the news these disgusting pictures of acres of rubbish left in parks and on beaches. Now, folks, listen, everybody wants to get out and enjoy the weather, especially now that lockdown restrictions are being eased. But do behave like civilised individuals. Take your rubbish home. If you bothered to take it with you, 
take it away again. There are some fantastic signs in New Zealand. And they simply read, I'm leaving my litter here because, A, tick box, I'm a jerk. B, tick box, I don't care about the community. Or C, tick box, it's somebody else's job to clear up after me. And then it says, don't be a tosser take your rubbish home. We need those signs up all over this country. I just don't get it. All of a sudden we've turned into a nation of litter louts and it needs to stop. It's a danger to the environment, it's a danger to wildlife and it just makes everywhere look ugly. You don't want to go to a park or a beach and have to wade through litter so don't leave your own behind. That's it, sermon over. Great bit of repetitive nonsense from Dead or Alive. You spin me round from 1985 from their album Youthquake. Reached number one in the UK in March 1985, taking 17 weeks to get there. It was the first number one hit for the uh, Stock Aitken and Waterman Hit Factory. And we're going to follow that with some Paul Hardcastle. In 1965, Vietnam seemed like just another foreign war, but it wasn't. It was different in many ways, and so were those who did the fighting. In World War II, the average age of the combat soldier was 26. In Vietnam, he was 19. In, 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 in Vietnam, he was 19. In, 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 in Vietnam, he was 19. In, in, in Vietnam, he was 19. Typically served a 12-month tour of duty, but was exposed to hostile. 
19 there from Paul Hardcastle, a very strong anti-war message, focusing on America's involvement in Vietnam, uh, notable for its very early use of sampling and processed speech. Went to number one in the UK for five weeks, and it was a massive hit in 13 other countries. Now, before we have some shameless self-promotion, this is Jan Hammer.
Miami Vice theme, of course. And that went straight to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 uh, for quite some time. I think it was there for five weeks. It was also number four in the UK, and it was the last instrumental piece to hit the top of the Billboard Hot 100 until 2013, when Harlem Shake by Bauer reached the number one spot. And along with Graham... <coughs> excuse me. I've got a croaky throat again. <coughs> Along with Glenn Frey's number two hit, You Belong to the City, it put the Miami Vice soundtrack on the top of the US album chart for 11 weeks in 1985 as well. Uh, I did promise you some shameless self-promotion, and because of the uh, debacle last week, welcome to Music Club. I'm in the studio with Emma Jackson, she's just finished recording, and uh, we're going to break the first rule and talk about Music Club. Emma, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Welcome to Music Club. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, tell us about Music Club and um, how you found out about us as well, Radio Lewis. Well, there's two elements of Music Club. And uh, the first is Music Club is something that I belong to in Brighton. It's a bit like Book Club. We meet once a month and we review an album. So we meet in each other's houses and we take turns hosting and we listen to the album for a month, and then we, as a group we critique it. But mainly we eat crisps and drink beer, and it's just a bit of a laugh. And uh, one of the members of Music Club is DJ Lisa Lyles, who does the A&E show. And she mentioned the, prog- the uh, radio station to me and introduced me to John, who kindly, and Ben, showed me the ropes uh, to get my show going, which is called Radio Music Club. And Music Club, the radio show is a bit like when you used to meet with your mates and share music well before we had the availability of online streaming. You relied on those tapes that you made and shared between each other for latest music and good old-fashioned tunes too. So so, so it's a digital mixtape? It's a digital mixtape. It's a bit of a reference back to probably a lot of music I enjoyed in the 90s and the 80s and around about then. But also, lots of new music. I try and make sure that at least a third of the music is brand new music. Well, that's uh, just taken away my third question. I was going to ask you what you play. You've done that. When are you published? Published on Wednesday morning. And I put it out there on social media on Friday morning as something for the weekend. Brilliant. Thank you for your time, Emma. And uh, I hope you get plenty of listens. Thanks very much, Ben. Thank you. Cheers. And if you have been missing Music Club... uh, Emma has been working throughout lockdown. She's one of those key workers. I'm very pleased to tell you that she will be back in the studio next week and there will be a brand new music club for you. More music now. This is Huey Lewis and the News. Change 
Power of Love from 1985 from Huey Lewis. Uh, written for the uh, blockbuster movie Back to the Future, it gave them their first number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 and their second number one on the Top Rock Tracks chart as a double A side. It also appeared on UK editions of the album 4 and uh, reached number nine here in the UK. Next, we got some simple minds. Don't You Forget About Me, written by Keith Falsey and Steve Schiff, a guitarist and songwriter from the Nina Hagen band, uh, for the soundtrack for the movie Breakfast Club. Uh, Fawzi's demo version opened the movie and Simple Minds recording uh, closed it over the end credits. 
uh, unusual for Simple Minds to uh, do something that wasn't written by them. Uh, classic now from Run DNC and Aerosmith. DMC and Aerosmith will walk this way. Originally an Aerosmith track from 1975 from the album Toys in the Attic, hip hop group Run DMC covered that in the 1980s uh, from their album Raising Hell, and it also helped to boost the career of uh, Aerosmith, who'd been in the doldrums for a while. They gave him a number eight on the UK singles charts. Uh, another classic from the time now, this is the Beastie Boys. <coughs>
You're listening to Thursday Live here on Radio Lewis, where the music matters, and that was the Beastie Boys with his Fight for Your Right from 1986's album Licensed to Ill. I was hoping to have Cy on the phone by now and just have a catch up on how he's been getting on during lockdown and whatnot, but I can't get through. He's probably forgotten, bless him. Uh, I'm going to play another one, and maybe I'll try again. Prince and the Revolution there with Kiss, uh, released on the Paisley Park label as the lead single from their eighth studio album, Parade, on February the 5th. It hit number one on the uh, top of the US Billboard Hot 100, uh, stayed there for a couple of weeks, certified gold, a million sales in the States. Uh, They like to say it was a worldwide number one, although it was mainly in the States. It peaked at number six here in the UK. I can't get older, so I think he's probably forgotten. Uh, but it does mean we've got more time for some more great music. This is The Stone Roses.
Fool's Gold from Stone Roses. Uh, released as a double A side with What the World is Waiting for. The song Fool's Gold didn't appear on UK versions of their debut uh, self titled album from some, for some reason, from 1989, because it was a massive hit here in the UK. It reached number 8 on the UK singles charts and it stayed in the top 75 for 14, 14 weeks, and yet we didn't get it on the album. It's ridiculous. I haven't heard that in a very long time. I haven't heard this one either. This is Soul to Soul. Back to life, back to reality. Back to life, back to reality. To life from British r and band uh, Soul to Soul. Uh, it features the Reggae Philharmonic Orchestra, and it's also one of two tracks from the album to feature British R&B singer Karen Wheeler. It gained success both in North America and Europe, topping the charts in the Netherlands and the UK, and peaking at number four in the United States. Haven't heard that in a very long time. Time for some more shameless self-promotion. We're going to follow the vapor trail. I've managed to gate crash the studio again, and this time. I've interrupted our own Steve Brooks at the Vapor yes, Trail. Yes, thanks, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing fine, mate. Yeah, absolutely fine. Thank you. We had to have a chat because it's been such a long time. It has, hasn't and it? Yeah. your show has evolved. Well, well, yes. Yes, that's one way of putting it, yeah. You started out and it was nearly all punk and just yeah. you. 
And since then, you've had a myriad of guests. Yeah. And you've changed genre all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I think what happened was we just kind of started doing little themes and stuff. And that got more people involved. And then um, got people wanted to come in and do playlists of their own. So we've had a number of different people come in. And um, that's kind of started to make it more eclectic. But I think there's still a kind of punk element in there. And uh, but yeah, we've done all kinds of things. We've done like um, we did a two tone show. We've done uh, recently did a show on the late Neil Innes, so that was kind of very musical. Done all kinds of things. Uh, was it Australian new wave? You know, well, whatever anyone wants to do, they're welcome to come in. Well, it's really yeah. great that the show has really started to expand, and uh, you've got your carers and sharers. Yeah, absolutely, yes. And you've decided to reward them with these really funky triangular badges. Absolutely, yeah. That, kind of like Terry's old gits of <laughs> Wogan, yeah. So what I did was, I, I, I found a company online and I thought, oh, do you know what, I'd do a badge. So I did these kind of triangular badges and it says, quite simply, Radio Lewis, Vapor Trails, Care and Sharing. And I kind of did it in a way to make it look a bit like a Sex Pistols cover. Well, of course. It's yeah, got yeah, to. yeah. And uh, they're enormous. <laughs> They are, they're fantastic. When I went to collect them, there was this great big box, and I was like, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like about the size size of oversized uh, nacho, basically. It's like a, it's like an enormous great big piece of Toblerone, isn't it? Yeah, it is, really. Yeah, you could probably use them um, if your car breaks down. Stick them, <laughs> <laughs> stick them outside in the road. But, but actually, everyone loves them. So, um, yeah, anybody that basically has a request... Or even someone that just shares the show online or whatever, or anyone that wants a badge, can get in touch with me on... Uh, there's uh, Steve Vapor Trails on Facebook, there's Steve Vapor Trails on Twitter. Um, we've got an email address as well. But if you just get in touch, I'll send you a badge out free of charge. Well, there you go. What better way to get people to listen to your show and get involved? Absolutely, you yeah. get one of these Toblerone wheel Yes, absolutely. Badges. And the thing is, if you do actually come into the studio, you get the ultra-special and actually quite decently signed, uh, sized, rather, green ones, which just says Access All Areas. And that's kind of like the equivalent of a gold Blue Peter badge. Well, there you go. <laughs> I do have one of those badges. I'll, yes, I'll you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, the Chinese burn you gave me to get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually made him squeal. Yes. <laughs> so, Vapor Trails is still published when? Uh, it goes out every Thursday now, so we're every week at 5 p.m., Oh, that was another increase. You've uh, gone from fortnightly to weekly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we're up to show 56 now, so we're rattling along at a fine pace. Absolutely incredible. Steve, thank you so much for your time. I know you're busy. You've got to get on. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, Ben. Thank you.
I didn't put the bloody mic on, did I? Lisa Stansfield, all around the world, her only solo number one here in the UK. You've been listening to Thursday Live, <sighs> with a slightly buggered up ending, on Radio Lewis, where the music matters. Thank you for listening. I'm going to leave you with the theme from S Express. Swazzy should be in on Saturday. Till next time, stay safe. Ta-da. <laughs> Enjoy this trip. Enjoy this trip. And it is a trip. Countdown is progressing. Oh no. No. Radio Lewis. Local. Community. Community. Webcasting.